Hey, what is up guys? I'm Greg Builds, and welcome to this Minecraft build tutorial. On this episode, we're going to create an easy to build Minecraft barn. And this barn is great for starting in Minecraft survival mode, as it uses easy to gather materials. It also uses a stylish design, so it's not only focused on function, but it also has an appealing aesthetic look. And inside this barn, you can have cows, sheep, chickens, rabbits, pigs, and horses. This barn build is broken down into six steps, and without further ado, let's start the build. Also, this barn is roughly 13 by 19 blocks wide, and it is 11 blocks tall. And here's a complete list of the materials you'll need to build this barn. Also, this entire build project will require a 13 block area by 19 block area spacing. And I marked my area out with cobblestone blocks. And you could do the same. That way you know how big the layout is before we start the build. Step 1. First, let's make the wood support columns. We'll need 102 oak logs for this step. First, starting at the back left corner, move over and back a space. Then make a 6 tall log column. Then move over 10 spaces. Then place a log on the 10th space over. And that will leave 9 blocks of spacing in between the two columns. Then we can raise this column to a total of 6 blocks tall, just like the first one. Then we can move back 16 spaces. And place a block on the 16th space back. And this will leave 15 blocks of spacing in between the two columns. Then we can raise the column to a total of 6 blocks tall as well. And then we can make another column that lines up with the back one and the side one. Next we can make a crossbeam at the 6 block up, and connect all the columns around at the 6 block up. Next let's move over to the third inner space, then place a block, and that will leave two blocks of spacing in between. Then extend this crossbeam all the way to the other side, then let's repeat one more time, leaving two blocks of spacing in between the two crossbeams. Then we can extend this to the other side. Step 2. Next let's add in stone walls. We'll need 162 stone blocks. At the front of the house, place a row of 3 stone blocks, then extend up to the crossbeam. Then on the other side, we can make another row of 3 stone blocks, and extend up. Then we can add in 2 more rows in the center. And that will leave a 3x3 opening for a doorway. Then at the side of the barn, let's make a row 3 blocks wide, and extend upwards. Then leave 3 blocks of spacing. Then make another row of 3. And we can extend up to the crossbeam. Then leave 3 blocks of spacing. Then make another column of 3. And extend this one up. Then we can make a back doorway, add a row of 3 stone blocks, then extend up. Then we can leave 3 blocks of spacing, then add in another section of 3 stone blocks wide. Also, don't forget to add in 2 additional rows in the center. Then let's finish the last side wall, and this wall will be the same as the other side. Start by placing a stone section 3 blocks wide. Then 3 blocks of spacing, then another 3 wide section of stone, 
three blocks of spacing, and then one more section of stone. Step three. Next is the fence post and exterior oak log columns. We will need 90 oak fence posts and 62 oak logs. At the front of the house, let's make a log column at the side of the doorway. Then we can add another log column on the other side. Then above the door, we can connect the two columns. Then we can add oak fence posts around the logs. Then at the side of the barn, let's add oak fence posts in both of the openings. Then once both of the openings are filled with oak fence posts, we can add an oak log columns at the side. And stop these log columns just short of the upper cross beam. And make sure to add a log column on both sides of each opening. So there will be a total of 4 log columns, and stop each one just short of the oak log columns up above. Then let's work on the back door, and this will be the same as the front. Make a log column frame around the opening. Then we can add oak fence posts around the log column. Then we can finish the last side, and this side is the same as the other side. Fill in the openings with oak fence posts. Then add oak log columns on either side of the openings. And finish these log columns just short of the log cross beams up above. Step 4. Next let's add in the stalls and dirt path in the center. We'll need 81 coarse dirt blocks, 66 fence posts, and 16 fence gates. Along the center aisle of the barn, we can make a dirt pathway. And we can make this pathway a total of 5 blocks wide. And that will leave 2 blocks of grass on either side of the pathway. And this way the animals can eat the grass. Then we can extend the path all the way to the other side. Also, you could choose to fill this path with cobblestone or any other materials that you would like. But I'm going to keep mine as a dirt path for now. Then let's add in a column of oak fence post and extend these up towards the cross beam. Then we can add in two fence gates, then add in more fence posts. Also, also, we can make a fence divider, and this will separate the stalls. Then we can add in two more fence gates, then add a column of fence posts, along with another divider. Then we can repeat two more times. Then once at this point, we can leave this area open, as we'll use this area for food storage, or you can even store equipment, such as lassos, or any other supplies you may need in the barn. Then we'll repeat on the other side. To refresh, add an oak fence post column. Then add in two fence gates. 
Then we can add in a column of fence post plus a divider. Then add in two gates, then a column of fence post and a divider along the side. Then we can add in two more gates, followed by a column of oak fence post. And don't forget the divider again. Then add in two gates, as well as a column and a divider. Step five, next let's work on the roof. We'll need 248 oak stairs, 19 oak planks, and 48 oak fence posts. At the side of the house, add a stair that hangs past the side. Also, add a stair that hangs past the front by one space. Then we can extend this to the back and make sure it overhangs by one space as well. Then we can extend the overhang up for a total of six stairs. Also, we can add upside down stairs along the overhang for extra detail. Then we can extend the other side up as well for a total of six stairs. And again, add upside down stairs underneath. Then we can add in an oak plank in the center. Then we can extend this row to the other side. Then we can extend this overhang up by six stairs with upside down stairs underneath. Then extend the other side up for six rows as well. Then we can fill in the rest of the roof with stairs. Then we can add in a strip of oak planks for the center. Then once completed, we can fill in the ends with oak fence posts. And these oak fence posts will seal off the roof, but it will also let air flow through the barn and it also help let natural sunlight inside the barn. Step six, lastly, we can load the barn up with animals. And I put cows, sheep, horses, pigs, rabbits, and chickens in mine. Also in the back of the barn, we have chests. And in these chests, you can deposit eggs, store lassos, food, or any other equipment you may need. Thanks for watching guys, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions about the build or would like to leave some feedback, I would love to hear it. Also, make sure to subscribe because I create building tutorials just like this one every week. I'll catch you in the next one. Later, guys. Want more build tutorials? I have many, many other playlists. Make sure to check them out.